Okay, this is Jerry Satterley of Texas Backyard Avocados. Uh, and I got a inquiry from a gentleman uh, in Austin about grafting. And I tried to answer back. I'm still learning how to do these things. I'm almost a 70-year-old guy <laughs> trying to learn this new stuff. And, and uh, so this is my way of trying to answer the gentleman in Austin. So I know it really encouraged me to know somebody's watching. This is a picture of a perfect graft, almost. Uh, you notice how low it is. This is within an inch of the dirt line, and this is a brand new uh, pot. So I'm stepping back so you can see. It's uh, when I uh, transplant them into bigger pots, I put more dirt in them. But one of my complaints about the new methods of grafting is they are up so high that they impair the tree's ability to survive because the thing on the graft, the rootstock is not of the same cold hardiness as the cold hardy Mexican avocado on the top. So if, if you uh, have the graft up so high, you leave that tree extremely vulnerable to the cold. No matter how cold hardy the top is, if the bottom is exposed, you've got a dead tree. And <clears throat> this is kind of what has happened. And when you look in the nurseries, what is coming out, these trees are grafted so high. And, and I still have bought some of them. And I, I, you just have to mound the dirt up to protect that graft. But technically, uh, the graft should be about two inches above the seed when it sprouts. And when you plant the tree, uh, the graft should be two inches below the dirt. So from the, the seed to the surface of the dirt should be somewhere around four inches. Well, some of these grafts are coming out five, six, seven inches above the seed. And they are going to guarantee failure for that tree. Unless you really know, what, even if you know what you're doing, that uh, dirt mound. Uh, and, and I know a little bit about that. I grew up in the Rio Grande Valley. And in my teenage years, I would spend, make money uh, spend my Saturdays uh, shoveling dirt mounds around these young citrus trees. So it is very critical that you protect that graft. Uh, but this is a perfect graft. And, and uh, let me back it up. I bought it just this week. This is a, a new Don Juan. I have it up on a barrel so I, I can get, uh, get you a better picture of this graft. Um, it is, the graft is the heart of the tree. If you, no matter what you do with the rest of it, if you make that graft vulnerable to the cold, uh, and this is my complaint about what I'm seeing coming out. Again, I'm not an expert. I've just been doing this since my retirement, but I was around this stuff uh, all my young years. I want to show you an example of the, some other stuff that I'm talking about. Okay, this is a baby joy tree, and you can see how high, and I have transplanted this and I have raised it up, but when I bought this tree is a couple years ago, I didn't really know what I was doing and because it was a variety that I was looking for and only one they had, so I took a chance on it. But this tree really has done nothing. Uh, I've had it over two years and it's still uh, just about two feet tall. Okay, this is another one. I've had it uh, a little while. Uh, I've transplanted into a big, uh, bigger pot and I've raised the dirt level. Uh, and you can see how full the pot is. I had it all mounted up for the winter. Uh, but still, this graft is too high to be functional. Uh, and this is my complaint with these people putting out these mass volumes of these wonderful trees. They graft them too high. And, and uh, take a look and see the, the height of the, the graft. Uh, Okay, here's another example of what I'm talking about. And again, I've transplanted this into a larger bucket. And uh, see how high where that bark changes? It goes from the bark color to the green. That's where the graft is. And it was, uh, when I transplanted, I put several other inches of dirt on it. And when the, for the winter, I had it mounded up real high. But that, church, uh, that uh, tree is at risk because of the high graft. So these are just some examples. Uh, and what I'd like to also show you 
is what happens when they uh, these trees froze on the top you can see how, but they do come out at the bottom so this is why you need to really watch out for that graft uh, these are coming out above the graft but I have them uh, pretty well protected considering everything but that's when if your tree dies you think your tree is dead we'll give it a while as long as it sprigs out above the graft uh, another question is about multiple grafts on a tree I have not done grafting and I've not been successful I have bought trees that have uh, multiple varieties on them and they haven't worked one or two varieties will be dominant and the other will be set just sit there i have a fruit cocktail tree in my front yard and i had an apple tree and the tree grew but only one or two varieties produced uh, so anyway i just want to share you some of this grafting information with you